Hello everyone, welcome back to the Power BI tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you that how can you publish a report using the Power BI service in Power BI. So this is our report from the previous video in which we uh, created a report composed of a table, a line chart, two cards and three donut charts. This was a report about region. Now in this video, we are going to see that how can we actually publish this report to Power BI service. So for that purpose, we have an option called as publish right over here. We can just click on it and you are required to sign in. Now, one important thing that you must know is that for signing in purposes, you need to go with a corporate email ID and you cannot go with like a Google ID or a Yahoo or Gmail or anything. You need to have a corporate mail ID for that purpose. So I have got a corporate mail ID just like this. And um, this is for if you have already signed in. So I've not signed in. So I need to go for a free account. I need to create an account in Power BI. And here we can just provide with our corporate email ID. I can click on sign up and it would ask me to wait. Okay, so I can click on yes. And you need to just provide your details. So what I'm going to do is uh, just provide programming knowledge programming here and last name as knowledge and the password I'm going to create a simple one and again a password so let's just confirm it a verification code so that is um, 800544 is my verification code and you can just scroll down like this and you can just click on start now this would help you to create your account and you can either save it or not save it so i'm not going to save it right now uh, and if you want to invite more people for your workspace you can just write their email ids and you all would be clustered together either you can just click on skip if you do not want to send invitations like i just did i clicked on skip now what I'm going to do is um, just wait for a few seconds while this sign up is getting complete. And once the sign up gets complete, uh, uh, you will be able to see something like this for yourself. Okay. And this is from where I just got my uh, mail ID that is a corporate mail ID. So you can just follow this link as well to get a corporate mail ID for 10 minutes. Then uh, this is how your uh, workspace is going to look like. Okay, now you can go to workspace or my workspace. This will show all the work that you have done up till now. But since I have not uh, done anything, I have not uh, got anything. So it is not showing anything. Okay, now I can go back to my Power BI and I can again sign in by providing my email ID, clicking on sign in. And uh, it may take a few seconds uh, before it asks you to sign in for Power BI. And after you are successfully signed in, you will be able to publish your report into the Power BI service. The Okay, so we can provide a password over here. And then click on sign in. Okay, so what happens after this is you will be able to publish your report like you can see. Uh, first of all, it asks you that where you want to publish. So yes, I want to publish to my workspace and that's the only destination that I have got. So you can simply click on select and uh, there it would take some time to publish your file. Now, one interesting thing is whole of your file would be published, which means uh, if you contain a number of pages, all those pages would be published over the Power BI service. So you can see that uh, we have got a success message and if you want, you can just open your file from here in Power BI service itself. And it may take a few seconds and you will be able to make out that uh, actually your file is now published. Actually your report is now published like this. You can see whole of your report is available in Power BI. 
now why we have done this like why we have published this report in power bi service the reason is when you are working in a cluster or with a number of people then you may require to share your reports with others it is not mandatory that you are the only person working on the report you may need to share it with multiple people only um with a few people whether inside your department or into people uh, spanning through multiple departments so this is the purpose by which the power bi was set up this power bi service was set up it allows us to do different kinds of things with these reports like it allows us to download this report if you just click on download you have got these bunch of option like you can uh, download in power bi desktop this means that if you have got this report if you have not designed this report but if you have got this report from any other colleague you can simply download it in power bi desktop and then it would be available for you or you can go with power bi for mobile which will help you to just view that report in your mobile phone itself now another important feature or another important thing is this report is kind of interactive like uh, right now you see all the regions are visible but if i just click on this east region then what happens is i am getting uh, in these three donor charts only the date of the east region in these two cards i am getting the sales obtained from the east region and the profit from the east region and in this table i am getting all the records for the east region itself and actually this uh, line chart is distorted right now but i am getting the profit for the east region which is 85291 simply if we can just click on south or if we can just click out all of the regions are there and if we just click on south then we get all the reports or all the things about the south region simply we can go with the central region we can go with the west region or any region that we want this means that this report is active as well or it is interactive as well okay now another thing is if you want to report uh, just edit this report if you want to do anything with this report you can do it very easily you can just go to this edit report option and there will be a, a possibility from where you can just edit your report you will get all these things that is the fields this orders table and this visualization pane just like you got one for yourself in the power bi desktop this means all the features of the power bi desktop that were available to us are now available through this power bi service all the um, possibilities that were there are now possible through power bi service with an ad added advantage that you can uh, just save it you can share it you can uh, perform as many operations that you want on this power bi report you can just perform them very easily so that is all about this power bi report publishing that you need to know and thanks for watching this video